For what purpose does the gentleman from New Jersey seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 2364, the Synthetic Opioid Danger Awareness Act, as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 2364, a bill to amend Title III of the Public Health Service Act to direct the Secretary, acting through the Director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, to provide for a public education campaign to raise public awareness on synthetic opioids. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Pallone, and the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Guthrie, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New Jersey. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on H.R. 2364. Without objection. And Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. We've hit a tragic milestone in our battle against the opioid overdose crisis. From April of 2020 to April of 2021, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimated that over 100,000 people died due to drug overdoses, no doubt exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Synthetic opioids like fentanyl and tentanyl analogs significantly contribute to overdose deaths. In 2019, the CDC estimated that more than half of overdose deaths involved synthetic opioids and drugs mixed with synthetic opioids such as methamphetamine and cocaine mixed with fentanyl. The Energy and Commerce Committee has worked throughout the pandemic to address this crisis. The American Rescue Plan, passed and signed into law earlier this year, included the largest ever funding boost of over $3 billion for mental health and substance abuse block grants to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, or SAMHSA. That $3 billion in funding has gone to critical services for addiction treatment, prevention, harm reduction, and recovery. H.R. 2364, the Synthetic Opioid Danger Awareness Act, provides an additional tool to address one piece of the opioid crisis. This bill requires the Department of Health and Human Services to launch a public education campaign on the health risks associated with synthetic opioids and services available to address misuse of these products. Further, HHS would be required to disseminate information regarding synthetic opioids to healthcare providers. The bill also directs HHS to produce training materials for first responders and other professionals at a higher occupational risk of coming into contact with synthetic opioids. It also requires the agency to conduct outreach about the availability of these materials in order to help those on the front lines be aware of the risks associated with synthetic opioids. The bill is another step the Energy and Commerce Committee has taken to address the opioid crisis and protect the health and safety of our communities. The committee passed this legislation with unanimous bipartisan support in July. I want to thank my New Jersey delegation colleague, Representative Kim and Representative Pappas of New Hampshire for leading this important legislation. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 2365, the Synthetic Opioid Danger Awareness Act, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from New Jersey reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 2364, the Synthetic Opioid Danger Awareness Act. Synthetic opioids, including the fentanyl and fentanyl-related substances, have been the primary drivers of the rise in overdose deaths that we've seen over the past uh, year and beyond. H.R. 2364 requires the Secretary of Health and Human Services to implement a public education campaign to, related to synthetic opioids. Additionally, the Secretary is required to publish a training guidance and webinar for first responders and other individuals to better understand synthetic opioid exposure prevention. This campaign will promote awareness around the dangers of synthetic opioids and provide information about available services to address synthetic opioid abuse. I urge my colleagues to support this bill and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Kentucky reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. I have no additional members who wish to speak. I have no additional speakers, and reserves. I yield back. Gentleman from Kentucky yields back. Gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. And Mr. Speaker, I, I would urge support for this bill and yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 2364, as amended? Those in favor say aye. 